Alright, so I wasn't going to film this, but um, this is actually such a neat idea that I found. Um, I'm going to. Anyways, you can see I am uh, had a stopped up radiator in a truck I'm replacing the engine in. Had an oil cooler failure. Well, the engine failed and dumped the uh, oil and antifreeze together and made a really nasty sludge mix. So, as you can see, the, the cores are completely full of that oil sludge and water would not force them out. You would think it would, but it didn't. So I was trying to come up with a way to um, rod these out, and I didn't have any luck finding any tools. But what I did find is at, I think it's Lowe's, you can get this for like 5 or $6. I think Irwin makes it, and it is a snake for clogged up drains and stuff. And what I've done is it's got this little spring attachment on the end. Well, I ground that off, and then I ground this over to a, like a rounded point so it's not sharp and it won't gouge the uh, and I polished it down so it won't gouge the radiator cores this fits perfect into the cores and if you want to step right here I'll show you Let's see I'm on the fifth one down so it fits perfectly in there and if you go to the other side, what I'll do, you can see all the oil that's picked up. You can see it squirt out. Just keep working it from side to side, pulling it through. it does a pretty good job of getting that out and then what I'll do <clears throat> is I'll take a rag and clean the full length of this and then I also I'll pull it back through Let me clean it and show you and after it's cleaned I will pull it back through just the same way And I'll do it again, working it from side to side. And I'll clean it again and start on the next one. And after I'm through, I'll probably uh, boil some water, turn it up on its end, and just dump boiling hot water down through here to try to thin that oil out and then I will put the tanks back on and bolt them down. I've already uh, could not get gaskets for these tanks so I just had to end up uh, making some out of uh, some rubber cellulose gasket material from Fail Pro. So, but yeah, um, I wasn't going to film this but I figured that was such a neat trick and I'm sure there's other people out there trying to find the tools to rod out radiators and so for about five or six dollars and a little bit of modification um, that works perfect. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.